You have a Shopify business and want to enable Instagram and Facebook shopping for it, but have no idea how to enable automatic products upload, so you won't have to add products manually in your Facebook catalog again, and you just don't know what went wrong if your review wasn't approved. Well, in today's video, I will talk all about what you need to get this feature approved, and I will walk you step by step through the process. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel we talk about social media marketing for business and how to make more money online. So if you're interested in those topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. Now let's see what do you actually need to make this feature happen for your Shopify business, for your website and to be able to tag products in your posts, stories and reels on Instagram. The first thing I suggest you will have is a website, a well-designed website, a professional one that contains all the information your client needs about your products, shipping policies, privacy policies, and more. You will also need a unique domain so for you to purchase a domain with .com, .co or any other termination that is not .myshopify.com because that will make your business be a lot more authentic and Facebook and Instagram will approve it a lot faster. To get your domain on Shopify, you can either get it from another platform then transfer it to Shopify or you can go to your settings, domains and purchase your domain from there if it is available. So you will basically need a website that represents your business with a great design and when Facebook reviews your website, they see an established business with all the information your client needs. The next thing you will need in order to get this feature and to get it approved faster is a Facebook account and a Facebook business page for your business. Now you will need to start a business page and optimize it and also I don't suggest applying for this feature as soon as you started your page, I suggest waiting a few months to grow it, to gain some following and engagement and also for it to be established in time. So don't hurry up trying to apply for this feature right away as you created your page or your Instagram account because you will get rejected and then the appeal option will come a lot harder. Invite your friends to like your page, promote it with ads or just promote it in general. If you want to know how to grow a Facebook page organically, this video will help. Next, what you'll need to do is to connect your Instagram account to it and there are two ways you can do that. You can go to your Instagram account, edit profile and add your page or you can go to your Facebook page, Instagram and connect your account. I suggest growing your Facebook page daily, posting daily. You can share posts that you share on your Instagram account to your Facebook page too by connecting them in account center. You can do that from your Instagram account, go to account center and then connect your Facebook page, sharing settings and make sure that your stories and posts are going to your Facebook business page as well. This will help your Facebook page be active as well and grow engagement as your Instagram is growing as well. Next, for the Instagram account, here are some to-dos that you must do if you want this feature. You will need your Instagram account to be optimized for SEO, so your name needs to be a searchable name. You will need a good description, profile image, and you will need to start growing your followers organically or by doing ads as well. But one thing that I suggest do not do is not buy followers. This will hurt your account and your ability to apply for this feature. I suggest posting often all types of posts, reels and stories and share them to your Facebook page. And also do not apply for this feature even if your following is enough on both platforms. Do not apply if you don't have at least 20 to 30 posts on your Instagram account. Even if you've archived some of them, you will need some types of posts there, a certain number of posts for Instagram and Facebook to see that you've been active and that you have engagement on your account. Now let's get through other to-dos that you need to do if you want to enable this feature. The first thing will be verifying your website domain in your business settings, in Commerce Manager, in Facebook. So go to Facebook Business Manager, business.facebook.com, go to Business Settings, Brand Safety and Domains, add your domain and then copy the code or use whatever method you want to verify your website. In this video right here, I share exactly how to do that for a Shopify website. Next, create a product catalog from data sources and catalogs and start uploading manually 10 items. Do not connect Shopify for this yet, we will do that once this feature is approved because if you use Shopify right now, it will be a lot harder to reappeal if you get rejected and sometimes you get rejected really fast with Shopify because the products are not being uploaded correctly and Facebook sees errors in them and that's why they don't approve the feature. But if you upload them manually first, it will be a lot easier for you to get approved. 
Now let's talk a little bit about the commerce requirements and some things that you need to keep in mind if you want to enable this feature. The first thing will be your types of products. If you sell digital products, this will not work. If you sell any types of products that are medical or healthcare related, this will not work as well. So make sure that before you put in effort to enable this feature, you review the link below in which it tells you exactly what products they don't accept. And for some products, for example, you sell some kind of chocolate bars or protein bars, they will take them as medical products. If your title or description implies that, or if you say use the protein bar to be healthier or anything else, they will take that as a medical product and they will not accept it. That is why you need to be very careful with what you put in your product's title and description when you first apply for this feature, when you first upload those 10 products. If you need any help with this or enabling this feature at all, you can contact me on Instagram at lead.incomingsuccess or by filling out the form below, I can offer this service for you. So make sure to contact me. Another thing you need is demonstrated trustworthiness of your brand. So that implies your website, how it is seen by people, how Facebook sees it when they review it, and most importantly, your following and engagement. So do not apply too early for this feature. After your accounts are okay, all the commerce eligibility requirements are okay, and your accounts are grown enough and demonstrate trustworthiness, you can go and apply for a shop from shops in your commerce manager, as you see on the screen. You will choose your catalog, your Instagram account and Facebook page, your website, and choose the regions that you ship to. Once you've been reviewed and this feature has been approved for you because you've complied with all the commerce requirements, you will then be able to go to Shopify, install the Facebook sales channel and click start setup for Instagram shopping. If you do that for Instagram shopping, it will automatically also happen for Facebook because both shops have been approved. If your shop was approved before and you're just now connecting it to Shopify, it will happen automatically. Most of the time products will take between 15 minutes and 30 minutes to sync to your Shopify catalog, but it can also take longer than that, so be patient. Now, whenever you will want to add new products to your catalog, all you need to do is just add products in your Shopify account and make them available for the Facebook sales channel. When you do that, they should automatically sync to your products catalog in Facebook and also appear in your shop on Instagram. Once you do that and your catalog is all set up, all your products are there, the next thing I suggest you do is create collections for your shop for your review shop button to be a little bit more personalized on Instagram. So for that, you can watch this video right here in which I go through every single step. Then if you're wondering how do I tag a product in a post, in a reel, in a story, this video right here will help. It shares all the basics of product tagging on Instagram. So there you go. This is how you enable Instagram shopping for Shopify. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such videos every single week. You can follow me on Instagram at lead.incomingsuccess for more tips on growing online with social media. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.